the, the rabbi asked me to uh, just say some quick divrei uh, halacha. As we know, the tomorrow uh, tomorrow night, I think, is going to be when the the uh, Rosh Chodesh. Also, there's going to be a special event. The uh, you know they're talking about a lot of, a lot about it in you know back east where I'm from is about the uh, solar eclipse. Uh, so back east, there's some parts of there's going to be total complete uh, eclipse. Uh, with the eclipse, you know, we, we know that we uh, we say various different berachot um, for natural phenomena. You see a beautiful mountain, Mount Rainier. Uh, it's usually not out, uh, you know, when when it's cloudy. But you see, you know, nice, beautiful things in the in nature. Um, so you know, it's a berachot berachav osema seberashit. In fact, uh, Friday, right after I left New York, they had a, a, an earthquake in New York, and 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 the, you could feel it. So. The halachas that you have, you make a beracha when you, when you experience an earthquake. Um, what about an eclipse? So, curiously, there's no reference to making any sort of beracha for solar eclipse. I mean, it's a very interesting, rare uh, natural phenomenon, and yet we don't see uh, any sort of beracha for for the eclipse. Um, most likely, it's probably because of the time of the Gebara, the time when you know they were composing uh, berachot. There was a, you know, a feeling or an idea that the eclipse was not really, a, you know, a good, a good sign for, uh, for the world. So, uh, you know, rather than uh, making a beracha, so they leave it out. So there's no beracha on the uh, solar eclipse. What's that? But they did for an earthquake. Yeah, but go, go figure. I don't know really. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's strange. Um, this is just a, from a historical perspective in terms of uh, solar eclipses. Just an interesting a tidbit of history. In um, the in, in, in uh, fourteen fifty three, uh, Constantinople was uh, was conquered by the Ottoman Empire by uh, Sultan uh, Mehmed II, and um, the legend is, and it is actually recorded by some Jewish historians. Uh, Shlomo Rosanet, you know, writes about this as well. That um, and and some you know uh, outside non Jewish sources as well. Uh, the legend was that in May of fourteen fifty three. Um, there was a partial solar eclipse, and uh, there was a, a Jewish astronomer, uh, Rosanis uh, writes about this, that um, that Mehmed w- uh, knew or, or uh, was acquainted with, who calculated this eclipse that was going to take place in May of 1453. And he used it to his advantage, saying, you know, t- sending a message to the Byzantines, uh, you know, that uh, th- this is going to happen in the sky, it's going to be an eclipse. And uh, you know things are going to go go terrible for you. Um, and sure enough, there was there was the eclipse, and and uh, in May uh, he went in and he conquered uh, uh, Constantinople. There was a small Jewish community in in uh, Constantinople. It was before, of course, before the Spanish expulsion. Um, it was uh, you know uh, uh, what what today what we call Romanio Jews. So these were the Jews that lived in uh, in Constantinople in Edirne in Brusa. Uh, before the uh, Spanish expulsion, so uh, uh, the rabbi of Constantinople at the time was, was named Mordechai Comtino. R- R- Mordechai Comtino actually wrote a treatise uh, about the solar eclipse. I think it came out a little bit later. Um, and Rosanna speculates that the reason why he wrote it, he wrote, and in, in, in the, the treatise was to try to explain the eclipse, like kind of in a natural, uh, a natural explanation for how the eclipse occurs. Um, and the reason why he wrote it, Rosanna speculates, is because at that time, understandably, people had a lot of superstition, uh, superstitious feelings around eclipses. They thought maybe, like, you know, God was angry or, or whatever it was. And Comtino wanted to dispel that uh, notion. The Raniot community, the Raniot the rabbis at the time, were more of a, like a, you know, rational type of approach. Everybody always rocky. Um, so those rabbis, they, they, you know, they preferred the, the more rational explanation for things. And so that's why you see Comtino, you know, it was before Spanish expulsion, when the, when, when the wave of Jews from Spain came over, then you see starting, uh, you know, uh, the, the influence of Kabbalah, so on and so forth. But that was really before that. And so Comtino wrote this uh, treatise to, uh, um, to give it a natural explanation for the, uh, for, for the, uh, for the eclipse. Yeah. So. Zakhmat. 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 Zakh